stairs as well. I mean, it's really down to Parabellum and how fast they want to try and enact upon the side at the current moment with this control. Azami obviously going to be able to assist in this as well. This is something that for a long time people were talking about. Can we get an operator like Castle that could potentially try and block off some angles from verticality? Well, it came along in the form of Kunai Knives and quite the cool operator. So Newers will be able to assist with that. Is to flush Parabellum out of this arcade position, which is the main thing, stopping them from moving forward at this point. Lots of utility usage, but nothing else. As finally some gunfights go back and forth, Dream will get tagged up just a touch, as well as Penguin. But finally, it's starting to see as though these two teams are colliding vertical. Now getting tagged up as well. Parabellum steadfast in their positioning, especially around arcade balconies. Still have so many of these Kiba barricades around to be able to play off of as well. And it's making life quite difficult for auction and at the current moment, Dream getting tagged up even more than previously. And the case is indeed still on him. Fortunately enough for him though, Penguin only has one more of his smoke. So only a little bit of potential for him to get taken out by that. Vertical will get swung on, but won't have control of the angle at the current moment. Blaz working back and forth, and just look at this position that he's allowed to play because of these Kiba barricades. This is what makes these things so very interesting. There's no explosives on the offense. They can't get rid of these. The only person that could really do anything would be Foxe with a sledge, but I mean, they're not even gonna try and check this angle because it's so awkward. Blaz catches him off guard. He'll do it yet again here in vertical. You're not gonna be able to do anything with that position because I'm gonna cross yet again and make a behind my other Kiba Barricade. I've played this before in stage one. It's a common trick of theirs, if you will. Look at this. Whee! Where is it going? I think it's meant to go in through the lobby window by going off the edge, or the, or the window here. Yep, there, there it is. There you go. Takes a, oh, that's smart. Is that gonna be both? Oh, just oh, one. Just one, yeah. I don't know if the intention was to get both, but as you talked about, a second Kiba Barrier goes up in that exact same spot. The Castle Barricade's already been removed, so look at this. You talked about how many explosives are needed just to cut through and gain control of those two windows that lead into the bomb site. That's <laughs> tough to go. And is go. just going to continue to be the same nuisance in the same spot. All for the attackers, and last time we didn't see it, so we have no idea what that looks like. But this time, we just might. It's iconic with these tricky, oh my god, keep it barriers, like shaping the map in a very different, you know, way than we usually see. It's been very popular with both the Sonics when they were on defense, and now Astralis doing the same thing, holding so well upstairs. And this was that unfortunate team kill on Tobolo, and they lost that round. The only defense that TSM was not successful on. But Bolo still remains, and we'll get to see the inventive additions of the Kiba Barriers. There's one just to stop bullet pens through a soft wall. A lot of people think of the Kiba Barriers being applied in ways like mobile cover or to patch up a breach or a drone hole. But you can also just throw it onto a soft wall. And guess what? You're not going to get bullet pen through that wall because the Kiba is going to block it. So the boat. you stop the boat. Then you're a good anchor. Um, by playing the bombs up alone, it's much more of like an experience thing. So shuttle dime means someone else has to do that job. That's call out. He's not normally in this strategy. He's a coach. So he has no real experience, you know, doing this job. And that's going to mean that, oh, no. well, that was not uh, the right iconic, Kiba barrier. See, Iconic thought that if you throw it at the ground, it would create like a yep. small angle up. But the problem is, is that that's not the way that they work. So either way, again, you want to talk about that 81% win rate for the defense on Throne. That's just a really brutal number to try and come up against. You could have the most proficient attack in the world and still you are only going to succeed one out of five times. That is terrible in terms of attacking win rate. It's actually yeah. the highest defender winning bumps out of any map in the game right now. So there's that. <laughs> not not a surprise, not honestly, a surprise. at all. And I remember back when Goyo still had access to his shields, and mm. three of them was it, how strong Throne was at that time. But we can talk about that in the post round. We can talk about that later on. Because I love when teams, they pre-rip the C4 because the one, like, we call this like an amateur mistake at, at, at this level of play in Pro League where when you hear them stop planting, that's when you rip the C4 because when you pull it out in your hand, it makes that ripping sound from the tape and that's when the attackers will hear it, they will stop planting, they'll run away, they'll survive. The C4 is essentially wasted or it buys you a couple of seconds. By ripping it early, like 10, 15 seconds ahead of time, they don't know.
and they didn't hear it. He ripped it with the explosion that happened. So when they went for the plant, he just tossed it on out. There was no sound cue for the attackers. It was a guaranteed kill. There was no way they knew the C4 was coming unless they were simply guessing. The exterior wall and server wasn't being held or maybe wasn't open up. That meant nobody could shoot it mid-air as the last member from the side of Sonics was on the hatch who then dropped the bombsite itself. So great play from Astralis. They're now an OT match point.